opened back in 2003. Have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Buffalo Bills and the Philadelphia Eagles. They go play action with Hertz. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. First carry for DeAndre Swift. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Now back to throw. That's to the speedster, Olamide Zacchaeus. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Off the play fake, here's Hertz. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. But first down, Hurts. And this will be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Play action. Here's Hertz. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Here's Hurts to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. They start the drive with Cook. And he's going to get this from the six out to the 12. A pickup of six as they double their workspace. But I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Again, it's Cook. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. First down, Allen. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Here's Allen on first and 10. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Now Allen. Finds Hines again for the completion. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. Third and seven now. Yeah, sometimes despite the best planning, the defense actually has a plan as well. And they blanketed everyone on that play. They were able to close it down and spill him for a loss. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And unable to connect, incomplete. Giving credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throwing his hurts. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll drop to throw. He's going deep for Brown. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. But I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely, and when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Flush to his right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Just a gain of a couple there. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Back to throw here. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands, and yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. He'll drop to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Olamide Zacchaeus. 
from three yards out. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball, because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. A last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Left side, Cook. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. They run it again with Cook. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. This is taken at about the 14. Good coverage there. An even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's the linebacker, Matt Milano, getting up and stopping him for a loss. As a linebacker, you're talking to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it and he found it all right took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss on second and 12 hurts and his throw is going to be incomplete receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time separation that's what's going to make the play successful that time there was very little and i think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted an incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked it and ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. We we'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Allen now on first down. He'll find Gabriel Davis. 
Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A gain of nine yards. And the Bills first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with a football as we start quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Allen going to throw. And he will find Davis. That's complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. A gain of 18 on the play. First down, Buffalo. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To the air, Allen. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're gonna sell the go, just go and let's see who's faster. To throw, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he is going to have a Bills first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route, but he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction and was able to track the ball in another. Naeem Hines, his first carry. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Allen now looks to throw. This to Hines on the drop-off. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Throwing now is Allen. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Cook will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Now Allen, and he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there, and the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Beating him there with his legs, 21 yards, first down. Well, I'll tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. Hurts. And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. A pause here for an injured player, and this would be an important one. Von Miller in some discomfort on the field right now. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts got a man. It's Brown. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Well, they sent the power set out there, and their job is to be man on man and move people so they can run the football. But that time, too many men didn't get moved in the box defensively. They end up throwing him for a loss. The kick by Elliott is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now, seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Away. 
Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Allen off the play fake. And he will slide down, but a penalty marker down, and this may be all for naught. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. To throw again on second down. Allen, he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First grab so far for Diggs. It's a first down. They'll try the middle with Cook. A little juke. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Cook up the gut. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 58 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. There was a little space there, yes, but that was a well-executed run by the rookie. It was, and he wasn't one of the higher-rated rookie running backs coming out. He's probably on the next tier. But let me tell you something. If he becomes more consistent and continues to have that drive to be one of the best, we'll see more of that in the future. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. From the gun, it's Allen. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Four yards on the touchdown grab as his guys have now moved out in front. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. 
Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. But first down, Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. From the gun, it's Hurts. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The defenders certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing his hurts. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Man open left side is Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 39 yards. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there. Touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now 17-14. turn here for Hines. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And within trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. On the slant, he's got Davis. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Allen. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet.
They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Allen going to throw. This one caught by Davis. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down is Allen. Over the middle complete, it's Hines. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here's second and nine. To throw, it's Allen. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. That coach is always hard on the quarterback, reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Third down, here's a run by Cook. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 73 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down leading. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They out leveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held them to no gain. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. They run with Hines. Boy, shifts past him. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Give him two on the play there, and it'll be a Buffalo first down. My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. And on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? 
Here's Allen on first and ten. Has his man. It's Shakir. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Here's second and a yard. On play action, Allen. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. Give him 10 yards on that one and that earns him a fresh set of downs. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise them with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. No gain on the screen there at second down. So many screen passes are the result of excellent acting by everyone. But sometimes the guy who's getting the ball takes the play off. <laughs> you know, the running back, because he's, he's eager to get the pass. And sometimes he doesn't act very well about whether he's going to block or leak out or whatever. And I think that they saw that, and that's why they were able to get to him on it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. And he was really focused downfield. But there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. On third and long, it's Allen. And the pressure gets to him again. Hassan Reddick providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. But this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And their three-point halftime lead gone now, back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. Sliding out of the pocket. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Hurts. Got him in, it's Brown. And he is gonna have an Eagles first down as they get five there on third and two. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And some room to work. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield. And down to the 43. A big pick up there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. Once again, it's Swift, and he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. 
You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Swift going to try up the middle. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Hurt sets up to throw it. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. At that time, finally a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case. That has to feel good for the defense. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. On second down, Cook. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard game brings up the third down. This is Hines. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. And this is beginning to border on dominance. Another strong run that picks up a first down. You've got to wonder if the defense coordinator is wondering why even go to goal line defense in any situation now to try and slow down this running game. First down. Here's the run with Cook. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot, because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit, and that's what he did on that play. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Play action. Now it's Allen. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Coming up on second and seven. Here's Allen to throw it. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. When defense get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Throwing his Allen on third. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia.
All even as we get ready to start the fourth. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Throwing again on second down. Hurts to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up a third down. He'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. From here on, any score could be the winning one, and he is certainly aware of that. Look at the way he locked in on that marker and made a mad scramble to get to it for the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And he's got some space here. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. On second down, Swift. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 34. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you, that's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. 43 yards on the ground for him so far. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Throwing his hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 13-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. Here's Hurts to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. 
There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, the size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Eagles have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Elliott now to have the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And down he'll go at the 25. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be second down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 84 yards rushing for him now, as he has been tremendous all day long. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They run again on first down. Cook found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. On the delay, here's Hines. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Allen. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down.
to the air. Allen going for it all. And this one incomplete. I oh, couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. To throw, it's Allen. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. They've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Now Allen, got to have this one. To the sideline, and he's got it. They say the feet are down. Yes, the line judge says they're in. That'll be a first down. Now a give running right, it's Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Throwing is Allen. And Davis has it over the middle. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Nice, well-coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. James Cook from a yard out. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. But first down, Hurts. 
And that's complete to Brown. And he'll be taken down after a gain of eight. And defensively, they'll say, you can have that. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Got to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Back to throw again. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here's a handoff to Swift. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And now they're going to get the timeout. A huge play has them in field goal range with a chance to win. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And his kick is good. And the Eagles are going to win the football game. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, or both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides.